Hello folks, I'm Abfielder. Welcome to the next video in my Carpet Mod series and a Happy New Year to you all as well. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use the Carpet Mod scripts to make the perfect villager breeder, how to design your own villager breeder. We've done something similar in this series already with iron farms and it's very, very similar. So behind you on this scene here, I have my crop farm, which in a recent video I converted into an absolutely mega breeder. I mean, there are five layers on this thing and you can build it on all four sides. And I use these very scripts to do this, to make sure it was all working reliably and what have you. I want to show you how to do the same. Okay, so we have a breeder here. It's Logical Geek Boys Design. Hit the T key to open the chat and then forward slash script, then space, then load. And you can use the tab key to auto complete and then space AI underscore tracker and just tap to auto complete and hit the enter key. Okay, we can see some help text on the screen there to tell us it's loaded. So if we hit the T key for chat and then forward slash AI underscore tracker, then space, then villager, and again, use that tab key to auto complete and then space, breed in and hit the enter key. Okay, we've got the script we want loaded and now we need to stick a villager in here and we can see what happens. Awesome, we've got some info above his head. Now, green is good. It means villager breeding will happen. Obviously, there's some stuff missing here we'll talk about. Red is bad. It means villager breeding can't happen. So we need a second villager. It doesn't actually tell us that, but you do obviously need two villager breeders, uh, two villagers for breeding. So now we have two villagers. The other thing we can see is a lion coming out of their heads and pointing to the beds that they have claimed. This is why most villager breeders have four beds. I'm just going to set the time to day. So to get two villagers reliably per day, you need four beds because each child villager needs a spare bed. Now, we'll go into a little bit more detail in that in a second, but we're going to get some food here because it says zero portions and that's a problem for breeding. Quite why the one is in green, I don't know. But anyway, let's chuck that down because it needs portions. If it's zero, it's bad. So that guy now has 10 portions of food. What will happen with the village breeder is the farmer there will chuck some extra carrots to his buddy because he's got lots spare and then that will go away from red. Perfect. There we go. He's going to run across and get them. Of course he is. Here we go. Okay, so one of our villagers has six and one of our villagers has four portions. Timer is at zero, which means they can breed and they've got the, they've got the home as well. So they're, they're going to breed now. We should get another baby villager any moment now. Did we get one? Nope. Here we go. There we go. There we go. I'm just about to see him. He's there. Okay, so we can see that that baby villager has instantly claimed the third bed. Now, when they drop into the tunnel, unless you drop them more than 100 blocks away, they don't instantly lose their claim to the bed. What has to happen is it has to get to nighttime. The villager has to realize it can no longer reach the bed, and then he will give his claim up. That's why we have the four beds. That's what I was talking about earlier. And we'll talk about my farm design in a minute because it's ever so slightly different and that's where the scripts came in useful. So let's set the time to night. Here we go then, baby villager in the water tube and he's still got his claim on the bed. Now I sped up times, so we didn't get a second villager on this cycle. So normally all four beds would be taken, but there we go. The baby villager no longer has a path to the bed, so it gives up its claim. The two adult villagers, they think they've got a path to the bed, so they never ever give up that claim. You can see how useful these scripts were. This is my stacking design that we saw earlier. And you can see all the baby villagers and their claims to the beds. It actually tells us really which layer they came from. So we can kind of also use it to track which layers are breeding villagers. Make sure it's all working perfectly. The other thing it helped me do with this video is that this is a crop farm. So there's a villager in the center. And it turns out the villager in the center can claim a bed. So instead of four beds like you get with Logical's design, you need five beds for the crop farm design. And that was made really simple with these scripts. Folks, that's how you design a villager breeder using the carpet mod scripts. If you design one, come join my personal Discord, brand new. I'd love to see your designs. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of this great carpet content or more Minecraft content, I do loads of videos, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, folks, I hope you have a great 2022. That's all I have time for today, though. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.